Hey guys, welcome to the DMX Show. I'm your host Shane, and today I wanted to show you guys how to root your Droid Bionic. Yes, that's right, we already have root for our Droid Bionic. Other phones, uh, such as the Droid 3, Droid X, I uh, had to wait a few weeks before we got root. And especially with the Droid 3, they had to wait several months before they got root. Uh, but we have it today on our Droid Bionic. We had it from day one. But today I just wanted to show you guys how to root it. Uh, why would you need root on your brand new Droid Bionic? A lot of you guys would like to know that. Um, wireless tether requires root. For now, wireless tether does not work on our Droid Bionic with root because Verizon Wireless has blocked wireless tether application uh, from running on all gingerbread builds. Hopefully the, de uh, the devs are hard at work on getting us a method of wirelessly tethering our 4G internet. I know you, all you guys would like to see that happen. Uh, maybe we can get like an NVRAM hack like we have with the Droid X, or at least that's my hope. Uh, but some applications that require root that you can use now are uh, ad-free. You can use CacheMate to uh, remove some of the uh, cache that stores up. Uh, set CPU, something that you probably won't need on a phone as powerful as the Droid Bionic, uh, because really I don't see ever a need to overclock this phone. It is wicked fast as it stands, but you may want to underclock your Droid Bionic, uh, maybe to help save a little bit of battery life. Also, Root Explorer and Titanium Backup are a couple of applications that you're going to need to de-bloat your phone uh, to remove some of those Verizon wireless apps that kind of just take up space in your app drawer. They're not really bogging down your phone, but they're ugly to look at, and uh, I will be removing those from my phone until we get uh, our own custom ROMs, and you might need something like ROM Manager, which also requires root. So there are many reasons to root your phone, and today I'm going to show you a simple one-click method for rooting the Droid Bionic. It's very easy. Just go down to the link in the description, and there you will discover a uh, link to download Pete's one click tool I'm sorry no it's Pete's root tools so you will go down there and download that unzip that into a folder where you can easily find it on your desktop it comes with some other files so make sure they're all together um, and then of course to set up your phone you'll need to go into settings and from settings you'll go to applications and development. Make sure that USB debugging is checked. Go back. Um, and then you'll need to plug in your phone to your computer's USB cable. Uh, make sure that you use the USB cable that came with the Droid Bionic. Any, um, like if you use your USB cable that went to your Droid X or any of your other Motorola phones, it's not going to work properly. Make sure that you use that exact cable. I know it's not very long. Uh, but you'll have to make that work because it's the only one that will work. Uh, so go ahead and plug that in. If you haven't already installed the Motorola drivers, the easiest way to install the Motorola drivers is just to plug in your phone to the computer. It generally, uh, in Windows, it'll automatically install those drivers. If it does not, for some reason, install those drivers, go to the link in the description. I'll have a link to those Motorola drivers uh, so that you can install those so that your computer will recognize your phone. So once your phone is plugged in, navigate to Pete's uh, Motorola Root Tools and open that folder. And you have a few options here. Root my phone, unroot my phone, run temp ADB root procedures. This is not a uh, temporary root like we're used to with like Z4 root where it roots the phone until you reboot it. This is only uh, rooting your phone while it's plugged into the computer just for ADB processes. And then restore my system app, and that'll make uh, your system app folder the same as it was before you did all this. So what we're going to do now is click on root my phone. And it says searching for the phone. Connect it now if you haven't yet. Running exploit, ste uh, exploit step one of three. And it's going to actually reboot your phone three times in this process. So I'm just going to keep it here and show you what it does. This whole process should take no longer uh, than about five minutes.
I accidentally pressed a button, Google should not pop up. Okay, now it says running exploit two of three and rebooting the phone once again. The developers are already hard at work uh, coming up with a way to get ROMs on our phone. I know it's already been looked into. Uh, some people are saying that the Atrix uh, clockwork recovery can be used on the Bionic. I would not suggest doing too much in that. I've not even tried it. I'm waiting on a legitimate SBF uh, so that we can unbrick our phones. Other than that, I really don't suggest playing around with it too much. I'm going to make a video to show you guys how to properly debloat the Bionic and get rid of some of those Verizon applications uh, that just tend to get in the way. Like I said, they're not bogging down the phone, they just get in the way. Um, so I'll show you guys how to do that here in a video pretty soon. And we'll just let this continue. One more step. Okay, it says, congratulations, your phone should now be rooted uh, after one more reboot. So when it finishes rebooting, you should be rebooted. And it says, be careful what you do with this kind of access. You can ruin your phone. That's what we were just talking about. You want to make sure that you wait to do too much uh, to the internals as far as modification goes with your phone until we get our SBF. I'm sure P3Droid is working at getting that leaked to us as we speak. He'll have it to us shortly. As soon as this boots up, I just want to run root checker real quick to show you that it is rooted. You should also have a super user application. So it's booted up. We'll unplug it. And run root checker. And we'll allow root access. And congratulations, you have root access. If you go into the application drawer, you should have a super user. Uh, see there, your super user icon. All right, guys, so your Bionic is now rooted, and that opens up a world of uh, modifying for it. Thanks, guys, for watching the DMX show. Uh, check out the website, droidmoderx.com, and follow me on Twitter at DroidModerX with an E, not a 3. Also, be sure to subscribe to the channel. We're going to cover the Droid Bionic heavily along with the Droid X and other phones to come in the future. Thanks, guys. Intoxicated.